No boxes today. Just a bit of an extra instruction manual. We're going to do the. Well, I hope we're going to do the subframes in this video. I want to get. I want to get them all cleaned up. Reinforcement plates need to go in and get welded in, and then I want to drop them off at the powder coaters. But there's plenty of work in that. I took the front subframe home and I jet washed that because it was all it was all oily and horrible. Ah, you little. So now it's it's a bit covered in dirt, but that'll blow off with an air gun. That's nice and clean. No more CV grease on it anymore. The rear subframe wasn't greasy anyway. I guess I never really split any CVs around this one, so I didn't bother taking that home. It's got a bit of surface rust, but it's okay. And I did have one crash with it. It just bent a little bit there on that mount. So we've got a few things to do, haven't we? Press all the mounts out, look at loads of photos, figure out the plates that need to go on, fix that, weld the plates in, give them to the powder coaters, job done. There we go, that's one done. I'll do the other three, and I'll, I'll see you over there somewhere, I reckon. This is where it all starts to get a bit difficult in the build, because obviously I'd like to build a Group A car. So I'm, uh, my main concern was getting the shell totally to Group A standard, and it is, it, it's an exact Group A shell. So anything from now is effectively like modular, it's bolt on, bolt off. So the idea is I can, I can now build a car to go racing with, but it doesn't necessarily have to be all Group A homologated components because I'm not going into historic racing. There's certain things like magnesium casings and mag uprights, certain suspension bits, a few engine bits that they did and electronics that either aren't achievable or they're not as good as you can achieve nowadays. So I have got to start changing things. It's just quite fr frustrating when, okay, so the second thing that I try to bolt on, the rear subframe, is quite difficult to justify getting to Group A standard. It's just, it's just sad, isn't it? I just want a, I just want a half million quid Group A car, but budget, budget and time. <clears throat> I can get this pretty close. Each lower suspension point, or each one on this main main leg had a little fillet underneath just to fill it in so I'll do that at two mil that's, a, that's easy isn't it and then under here as well on the blue car it had a kind of triangle insert in there with a couple of holes and that's it so we can we can do those four each side make a few templates out get them tacked on and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll pull some of the arms over stick them on and just check that they all move and stuff Positives, positives. I quite like they they had welded in mounts as well, rather than pressed in aluminium things. So I might try and do that. I think if I can if I can clean these up, which are the inserts from the original rubber ones that came with it, I might be able to use that as the inside, and then make a plate top and bottom 
I'll have to think of a way to, to get it centered properly and then maybe I'll, I'll tack it in a few places across the whole subframe and then try it on the car make sure it's make sure it's all good and then weld up the whole lot good this will be good I think might even be right as well Go. It's the first of many plates welded on. Getting there. It's good. To, it's all good practice, isn't it? That's what it's all about. By the time I finish this car, I'll be really good at all this stuff. If I was to build another one, you imagine how good it'd be. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side, and then start to do these other plates. What I'll do is the, all these little mounts. I'll do those, and then I'll record it when I'm doing these big ones because that's look how big that is. That'll be exciting, won't it? That'll look really good. I'd like to do a good job of these ones, ideally. Be nice, wouldn't it? We'll see how it goes. It's all about the comfort, isn't it? It's all about the, as long as we get comfortable, then I think we'll be okay. It's another day that came that came out all right the second plate um the welding is actually worse than the first one but no one's gonna see it are they so that's fine having one of those nightmare days today you know when everyone just drives around at like 26 miles per hour all day like metaphorically and actually it's driving me mental i wanted to do the subframe mounts solid like they did in the, the actual cars and then i thought about cutting all the things out uh, uh, there's no way i'm gonna do that so Drew some bits up and went to the laser cutters again. Actually spent a bit of time on some other bits as well. So hopefully things will start moving a bit quicker now. So we've got a load of bits to solid mount enough for two subframes um, in case I do this again. I have also inquired about scanning a subframe so I can scan it, move all the points in CAD, properly figure out how they did the Group A cars 
and then at a later date do that chuck it all in you know a couple of years time and then then it's a proper one isn't it right in here we've just got loads of donuts could you could you imagine cutting all of these out if anyone wants a subframe done i'll do it for eight grand little as that so basically they're all just circles for the four subframe mounts the diff mounts that i'm going to think about before i do that because that could be bad um, and then I also got these, which are for centering these properly. So I think what I need to do is have a clean up of all of these bits, tack them together really lightly, tack them on the subframe, and then try them on the car. I'm doing what I said I'd do and use the original, use these original inserts from the rubber mounts as the middle, so I don't have to pay for anything to get machined and then these all just slip over the top once they're cleaned up. Oh no, they do. Cool, it's tight, that is. It's almost as tight as my air jacks. The top ones with their little spiders all tacked in look so you can't see it from there can you but that centers on there really nicely another one of those you'll have to believe me but I'll show you I'll show you so the idea is it just sits just inside this lip lovely job and I'll be able to weld around the outside of it I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced this subframe's straight, or the car's straight, so we are going to do the whole tack-in approach first. The next thing I need to do is, I've got some smaller ones that are supposed to go on the bottom, they're supposed to sit just inside, but the bottom's a little bit bent, so I just need to straighten that up. Maybe if I hit it down from the top, flat, oh, that might be a good idea, should we give that a go? Look. So from the bottom, no chance, from the top, happy days. So I think I'll clean it all up, ready for welding, tap these down, and then put some little tacks, like tiny tacks on, and then we'll go from there, all right? That's as welded as I dare to go with that. So just got to try it on the car. This is quite brave. Got Shane to help though. Haven't we Shane? Is that on? That is on. It's on? Mm. Shane! Who, who'd have thought? Not bad, is it? I wasn't expecting that. 
solid mount of subframe and it just goes on. There you go. Look at that, mate. And it all clears. Oh, mate. I didn't imagine that going right. Good, that's all TIG welded up. I hope it fits. I'm not gonna try it again. Fitted, fitted before I welded it and I was careful, so hopefully it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Um, in the next one, I wanna carry on trying to build up the rear subframe bits, which will we'll look at like the, the arms to see if I'm gonna reuse those. And then I also got a really old blast cabinet that I picked up, little eBay win. So I'm gonna try doing kind of the rear hubs and stuff like that with glass beads, see how it comes up. Should be nice when everything will look kind of new. I did want to powder coat the subframe for the end of this video, but I'm gonna have loads of powder coating done, like the pedal boxes, um, front and rear subframe, arms, lockout kits. So I'm gonna wait and then get it all done in one, and then we can kind of have a have a couple of videos of just assembling nice clean bits onto a car. That'd be nice one day, wouldn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching.